Brotherhood of the Eternal Light, teaching the Western Mysteries. The Sephirot on the Tree of Life. This video is part of our free online course on Kabbalah and the Western Mysteries. The link to the course can be found in the description of this video. Bina. In the previous video, we considered Hachma, the second Sephirah. From Hachma emanates Bina, the third Sephirah. Bina means insight or understanding because in Bina the wisdom of Hakma becomes certainty. In Bina the higher soul understands the meaning of destiny. Bina is the passive divine principle, the maternal receptive form. The divine name of Bina is yad He vav He elohim the Archangel of Bina is Safkiel, which means contemplation of God. The host of angels of Bina are the Erelim, which can be translated as the altars of God. After the line that connects two points, which we previously learned is a symbol of Hachma, we now find a first form in Bina consisting of three points which can be connected to form a triangle. Just as the line in Hachma corresponds to the staff and phallus, the active male divine principle, we find in Bina the negative, receiving, feminine divine principle in the form of the triangle which corresponds to the chalice in the uterus. The chalice corresponds to the formative principle and is assigned to the water element. It symbolizes conception, love and higher insight, amongst other things. Another symbol of Bina is the dark pillar called Boaz. Boaz means therein is power. Boaz, the left pillar in front of the Temple of Solomon, corresponds to the left pillar of the Tree of Life. It is called the Pillar of Severity. Besides Bina, it also includes Gevura and Hod. The Pillar of Severity stands for the restrictive and limiting powers of the universe. Just as the creative forces in the universe are important, we also need the limiting forces, just as a river needs its bed in order not to dry up. It is due to the limiting force of the riverbed that a river can flow powerfully in one direction. The planet Saturn is assigned to Bina. Saturn stands for the seriousness of life, discipline and self-restraint. Through our engagements with our destiny, Saturn, we gain insight, Bina, into the higher meaning of our life, Neshama. The Neshama, which is the Hebrew word for breath of life, is the level of the soul assigned to Bina. The Neshama corresponds to our higher immortal self. We also refer to it as the Holy Guardian Angel. In the human body, the right brain hemisphere is assigned to Bina. In the tarot, we assign the four threes of the minor arcana to Bina. Just as in Bina a first form emerges, the threes correspond to the first effects of each element. The four queens of the tarot's court cards are also assigned to Bina. 
The virtue of Bina is silence. Silence is also one of the four cardinal virtues of the mystery students. The vice of Bina is stinginess or exaggerated restraint. The spiritual experience of Bina is the vision of mourning. Deep down we realize that ultimately there is no reason to grieve because everything in the universe has its higher meaning and necessity. The color of Binar is black. Black stands for grief and for receiving or absorbing. The traditional colors of Binar, according to Kodoveru, are yellow or gold. These symbolize higher insights and enlightenment. Another traditional color of Bina is green, which stands for fertility. Have a look at the other videos about the Sephiroth on the Tree of Life. It would be best to continue with part 4, Chesed. Was this information useful to you? Let us know in the comments and support us by liking this video. Do you want to be informed about new releases? and please subscribe to our channel.